Gen 3 Alpha image to video is here. Now you can generate AI images and bring them to life in a way that was not possible before. This image here was generated on Mid Journey, and in just a few seconds, I was able to get this video from Gen 3. But before we can test this out for ourselves, I want to share with you some amazing videos that the X community has been generating since this feature dropped. One of the most impressive creations I've seen so far is this video that was shared on X by Olivio Serrax. He used a base image that was generated on Mid Journey, and from that, this is what he got. This is just on a whole new different level. Gen 3 was able to create a whole different scene that is so consistent to the input image. The video flows so well, it looks so real, it's almost scary, but it's not scary, it's exciting. Olivia is also on YouTube, so if you want to check him out, I'll leave a link to his channel down below. This collection was shared by Rory Flynn on X. These ones were also generated using a base image that was generated for me journey no prompt was shared but nevertheless these videos are amazing from the dust effect that's left behind by the track to the way the camera pans up and gen 3 creates these new scenes with the clouds that emerge from above the skies to the splashes made by the dog walking in water the splashes somehow correspond to the dog's movements to this amazing video of these two models i love the way it zooms in i wonder if a prompt is used alongside the image or just the image alone and last Lastly, the way the camera follows this 4x4 as it drives through the streets, this is definitely a game changer and I'm here for it. Another update that has been announced by Runway is a new version of Gen 3 Alpha which they're calling the Gen 3 Alpha Turbo. They'll be rolling out the Turbo for image to video in the next coming days. So depending on when you're watching this, it's probably out or we're probably still waiting for it. According to Runway ML, Turbo is supposed to be seven times faster than the original one and it's also supposed to be cheaper, which is good news I guess. Currently, Gen 3 uses 10 credits per second, meaning if you're generating a five second video, then that's 50 credits. And if you're generating 10 second videos that's 100 credits which is double the price for gen 2 so it'll be interesting to see the new price for it if you want to check out gen 3 from runway i'll leave the link on the description section down below once you're registered click on get started and it should bring you to this page here if you click here you can choose whether you want to use gen 2 or gen 3 but for this video we'll be checking out gen 3 there's three ways to generate videos on gen 3 there's text to video image to video or image plus text to video for this video we'll be focusing on image to video which allows you to use any image for the first frame of your video gen 3 alpha just as the name suggests is on alpha mode so it doesn't have a lot of features going on so it's kind of straightforward to use you have the prompt section where you can upload an image and in this section here you can add any prompt text that you want to use on the custom section you can create any custom prompt you want which you can save and use as of when you need it on the setting options you have the seed number you can leave this as it is or you can click on this button if you want to reuse the same seed number to achieve similar results if you want to remove the watermarks from your videos all you have to do is click on this button and any video that you download will not have the runway watermark included 720p is the resolution that all the videos that will be generated on gen 3 will have all right so let's have some fun and start generating some videos from the images that we generate on mid journey to test this i've generated this image on mid journey i'm going to upload it on gen 3 and for this i'll also add a text prompt and i'm gonna use the same prompt that i used to generate this image on mid journey which is high angle shot of a car racing in the desert leaving the dust behind and for this one i'll generate a five second video i'll click on generate and it's generating and there you go it's done and this video just took under a second to generate so not bad and just to be fair i've generated another video but this time i'm only gonna use the image i'm not gonna include the text and i just want to see what the difference between the two is as for me i prefer the video generated using the image only but there's really not much of a difference apart from the one that's using the image has a bit more of the dust effect left behind and maybe a few spectators standing on the side other than that they're very similar this next scene is inspired by this video that you're looking at and what I like the most about this sort of Gen 3 generated videos is the way they transition from one scene to another. After watching this video from Oliver, it got me thinking, what if I could prompt and Gen 3 could generate scenes from different rooms in the house while still maintaining that look and feel of the first image that was used to generate the first frame of the video? 
I headed over to Mid Journey and I generated this image and I ran all the way to runway and this is where I am right now. So for this, I'll be using a text prompt alongside the image and the prompt I'll be using is... The camera begins in a bright and elegant living room. Natural light floods in through windows. The camera moves swiftly through the room, past the luxury kitchen, continuing into a chic dining area featuring a stylish chandelier. It quickly moves into a cozy hallway lined with contemporary artwork before moving into the luxurious master bedroom, showcasing plush furnishings and soft lighting. The entire scene is captured in a smooth, uninterrupted flow with dynamic camera movement. And with that, I start generating this 10 second video. And from that, this is what I got. All right, so I have to say, this is not what I was expecting, but nevertheless, this is amazing results. Maybe with better prompting, I could get better results. This video starts in this beautiful living room Room as expected it misses the kitchen and the dining area and then it transforms into this nice hallway nice it goes into this first bedroom that i didn't prompt for and then it finishes in the last bedroom and then we can see the outside as much as this is not what i was expecting from the generation i have to say i only attempted this once and if this is where we're heading with ai videos i'm looking forward to what's coming if we're talking about the best ai video generator that's available for us creators to use this has to be the best no other ai video generator is able to do what gen 3 is doing maybe sora can do a better job but we do not have our hands on it so i decided to generate a similar video again but then this time i'm not gonna use the prompt and i'm just gonna add the image and just see what we get and from that this is what i got this video here is five seconds it's exactly what i thought would be generated as you can see the camera is panning around the room while i was generating this video i realized runway has added a new feature instead of just using using the image as your first frame you can also use it as your last frame so what I did I just generated another video again but then this time I chose the last frame option just to see what happens and as you can see from this last video it looks like the camera starts from a door entrance and it's coming into the room as you can see from the edges of the video and again it pans through this would be interesting to see especially if you're prompting a video and as you can see this example from runway gen 3 where they use this image as the last frame and this is what came out amazing this video here was generated using this image for me journey no text was used for this and from that this is what i got it has a little bit of morphing issues and the hands are still a problem and this other one here was generated from the same image but this time a text prompt was used and the text prompt that was used for this is th a slow motion shot of a group of people dancing at a party rave lighting 35 millimeter style and here is a side by side comparison of these two videos the aim for this video that you're looking at is I wanted to see if Gen 3 could generate a character that's smiling and talking at the same time. The prompt that I use for this is... Static camera, fast natural movement, dynamic motion, fashion portrait. She's smiling as she talks. This type of video is definitely a game changer, especially when it comes to creating AI videos or any other video that you would like to create with a talking character. This is amazing and it's exciting to see where this goes. I have enjoyed making this video. It's been amazing to see what Gen 3 is capable of. It's exciting. I'm excited to see the new updates. Thank you for watching. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give me that like. Don't forget to subscribe don't forget to give me any comment let me know what you think about this video until next time everyone my name is abigail have yourself a lovely day bye bye